Alright, hey everybody, Liam this game here and welcome back to an episode of Unturn. Today we're gonna do a Elver update video. I know that I have already uploaded a video today, but since the update came out earlier than I actually thought it would, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna post it. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked today's video, just make sure to check it out, it'll be in the description below. It is a, a very, very nice video and took me a really long time to edit. And yeah, if you guys want to see more Elver updates or not just Elver, it could be anything like Unturned 2 videos or whatever, okay? Just just subscribe, all right? A really big portion of you guys watching aren't subscribed. And I know that if we, if everybody subscribes, then the channel will grow very much. So, basically, today's update. We have the dorms. We are currently at the dorms and the main update today for, you know, Elver is that dorms isn't really used in the map, which is true. The only reason why people come to the dorms is either like very early game to get one of the key cards which is located at the dorms or to get access to the uh, to the teleporter which can't actually be used at the start like after you complete a couple of quests you can actually use it since it is locked and uh, yeah Danaby and his team made new rooms now these rooms there are five total rooms around the whole map around the whole dorms and these are very rare to find these keys are very rare to find and over here we have one, these are how the keys look like, they are epic crafting supply. Now another tip, when somebody dies while he's holding these keys, they would drop, they drop down, you cannot like, for example if you use the the key card for the, uh, for the say dead zone, you don't drop them if you die, they would like automatically save in your inventory and they like become invisible. But not these, these, once you find them, you die, you could actually lose them and you could store them inside your base, which is very epic, you know, it's like a normal thing that you could find, it's like a, it's like a real key that you could, you know, if you kill somebody and he has it, you could take it and you could use it yourself. So yeah, so basically there are five rooms where are, they are very good when it comes to loot, like they could spawn mash, they could spawn guns, and I know that people have a problem with finding mash in this map. Like, not just mash, you could find gyroscopes, you could find, you could literally find, um, the, uh, just the full, uh, what is it called, the crafting thingy, I forgot what it is called, but it's very important, and, uh, yeah, that's not even the main update for me, anyway, I, it, it's really important, I guess, but the main thing, the coolest thing, is that there are zombies, which aren't zombies, actually, they are, they look like cultists, I'm gonna try to find one, they should be around here somewhere, and at the same time, we'll check out the do the dorms for when the where the rooms are. They're quite easy to find, actually. Like over here, we have the fourth room, which over here we could find there yeah, night vision, military clothing, cans, and uh, which cans are actually important if you didn't know. Like if you take a can, you could salvage it into a uh, where is it here? You could salvage it into a scrap. So cans are like the new stacked metal, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna try to find these like, cultist zombie NPCs. I'm guessing they are NPCs. I don't know what to call them. I'm gonna call them NPCs. You guys might visit. There they are. Look, that is not a real person. That is actually like a zombie. And he would follow you. And he would actually hit you with the machete. I'm gonna let him hit me. There. Now obviously they don't... You don't... Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. You don't lose radiation because, you know, it's not a... It's not a zombie, an infected zombie. Just makes... Some damage. He doesn't even do noise, which is very epic in my opinion. They don't do any any noise. They could drop ranger items like blasters, and it's very cool. Oh, there you are. Scared me. I need to spawn in a MRE. All right. They could drop like sniper rifle ammo. Space. It's very cool. I really like it. I think it's like the coolest thing. It's very. It's new to Unturned. We haven't had them, and I think like we should have had them in PI and the kind of stuff. You know, they're, uh, they're basically like a new zombie, just a bit different, you know, I guess the mechanics are the same, except that he just hits you with the machete, and uh, yeah, that, that's probably the coolest thing out of the whole update, and we, yeah, we've checked here, there's an area where there's two, uh, there are two, like, two of these new rooms, now, these new rooms also, they are quite rare, as I said before, they are, they only spawn in one place, which unfortunately I don't know where they are, so if you guys know, just let me know in the comment section below. And I will pin it for people that you know are, are looking for where to find them. 
This gun sucks, why am I using this gun? No, nah, let's just use the Valentine. And... Uh... Oh. I'm not really used to where the rooms are. I know that there's an area where there are two next to each other. Hold up. But anyway, yeah, that's basically the update. Now, we also have a white teleport. Hold on. Let me teleport out of here. Over here, we have new items, which, first of all, we have a metal chair, which, unfortunately, cannot be crystallized. And over here, we have a weapons case. Now, this weapons case, you could find it, and I think it crafted. I am not 100% sure. It's made out of metal, which means that you need to raid this to actually gain access to what the loot is. It's not like a crate. And... Uh, yeah, those are the new updates. Basically, there was a bunch of other changes as well, which I can't really be asked to go through, but for example, the main thing, I guess, the coolest is that a med kit has been like, uh, it's not like buffed, I guess, where you don't, it doesn't give you 50% radiation health, I guess, does that make sense? Uh, it's, it's, it's decreased, basically. There's a bunch of other stuff, if you guys are interested to know, just, it'll be linked in the description as well. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, leave a like, drop whatever. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. If you guys want to support the channel and want to become a member, make sure to click the join button below. And from there, you guys will unlock a bunch of perks. And yeah, thank you.